Scientists say they figured out why an Austrian who became the first skydiver to break the speed of sound fell faster than the drag of his body should have allowed. Felix Baumgartner jumped from the stratosphere 39 kilometers, 24 miles, above Earth on October. Fourteen, twenty twelve, and landed safely on the ground near Roswell, New Mexico, nine minutes later. Bongertner, whose protective suit and backpack gave him a very irregular shape, reached speeds of up to 1,357.6 kph, 843.6 miles per hour, higher than scientists had expected even for smooth objects in free fall. File, in this Oct.14, 2012 file photo Felix Baumgartner of Austria gestures prior to speaking with the media after successfully jumping from a space capsule lifted by a helium balloon at a height of just over 128,000 feet above the Earth's surface in Roswell, N. M scientists say they figured out why an Austrian who became the first skydiver to break the speed of sound fell faster than the drag of his body should have allowed. In a paper published Thursday, Dec.14, 2017 by the journal PLOS One, researchers from Munich's Technical University said irregular shapes appear to reduce the aerodynamic drag that increases as objects near the sound barrier. AP photo Ross D. Franklin in a paper published Thursday by the journal PLOS One, researchers from Munich's Technical University said irregular shapes appear to reduce the aerodynamic drag that increases as objects near the sound barrier. Fearless Felix reached speeds of up to 834 miles per hour before his parachute opened, and he landed back on solid ground five minutes later to have completed the highest and fastest skydive in history. Baumgartner became the first human to break the speed of sound during the jump, reaching a total speed of 833.9 miles per hour. He also set records for the highest balloon ascent, highest parachute jump and the fastest speed achieved by a human through the atmosphere, after jumping from 128,100 feet above the Earth for the Red Bull Stratos mission. Felix Baumgartner broke the speed of sound after 34 seconds of free fall, ultimately accelerating to as high as 833.9 miles per hour or Mach 1.24. Mr. Baumgartner made his death-defying jump from a tiny capsule that took him up to the edge of space, which took him two and a half hours to travel 128,177 feet above the New Mexico desert and less than 10 minutes to land. It's not about breaking records anymore. It is not about getting scientific data. The only thing you want is to come back alive. During the first part of Mr. Baumgartner's free fall, anxious onlookers at the command center held their breath as he appeared to spin uncontrollably.
I put seven years of my life into this, he said. Da, trust me, when you stand up there on top of the world, you become so humble speaking after the jump, Mr. Baumgartner said. Trust me, when you stand up there on top of the world, you become so humble. It's not about breaking records anymore. It's not about getting scientific data. The only thing you want is to come back. Alabam Rabongritner said as Strato's jump has proved that a human can survive accelerating, though the sound barrier in free fall, and scientists gathered a lot of information, including the first ever physiologic data from a prone free falling at supersonic speeds that could be used to inform future projects added. In that situation, when you spin around, it's like hell and you don't know if you can get out of that spin or not.